what is up you guys it is your girl dreamer i am back here with an oracle read so we're gonna go ahead and get straight into it because i don't want to take too much of you guys time heavenly father mother our angels our ancestors all above all around i ask you to come here into this moment to guide us to let us know any messages that you have for our following collective all right you guys let's get started so i'm starting with my new moon deck okay we're just gonna hop straight into it get this message right out and look already okay so we have moon in aquarius which is crazy because we're about to be or we might be in aquarius season okay so the time to write for celebrating life make the most of parties gathering and other opportunities okay so your birthday might be coming up an event might be coming up you might be stuck in the house and you're wanting to like get out or you may just be stuck in like work or doing things that like you know serving your purpose but it's like you're taking things very seriously right now so this is a reminder to like you understand no matter what it is that you're doing everything you do should be about celebrating life it should be about op new opportunities social opportunities get out and mingle and meet people and have a great time and no if you are in a funk it's time for you to get out of that funk okay i know for me i can't speak for all but when the pandemic hit it really had an effect on me so now it's like we're no longer in the pandemic there's no more excuses this year we are in 2023 it is time for you to celebrate life that doesn't mean go out and turn up if that's not what you want it just means how do you celebrate life how do you celebrate your life start celebrating your life if you're the type to celebrate other people's life it's time for you to celebrate your own life because guess why you are here you are alive you are well you are here you are alive so celebrate your life and give your life meaning and give your life purpose okay then we have the wolf okay anytime you see anything with animals animals are all about your animal spirit okay do research into what your animal spirit is and it's connect it's all about connecting with your angels and your ancestors because guess why you may not see them no more but they can still see you they may not be here like how you see me but guess what they're still here they're just in a whole nother world so connect to your angels ask for help connect to your ancestors ask for help because they're right there with you okay beware of letting your wilder instincts spin out of control yes okay so wilder i didn't even know that was a word because i'd be making up words but what it is saying is Sometimes when we are going through something or sometimes when someone is treating us or people are treating us a different type of way or people are just making us second guess ourselves, we tend to or we're not satisfied where we are. We tend to just spin out of control and just overthink and just stress ourselves out and, you know, make choices that we're not so proud about you know we end up doing things that we later on regret so this is just a reminder to be careful of doing things that you're going to later regret because you want to prevent regretting anything you really do you want to like not just do things because you're hurt pay attention on why you're doing certain things you know just Try not to spin out of control. I feel like that's what it's saying, okay? We have the frog, all right? The frog. The path has been cleared for you to make that previously seemed unachievement, okay? So anything that you told yourself or you may have come across in life back in the past that, or you may feel right now like, dang, I really want to do this. Dang, I really want to do that, but I don't have this and I don't have that. It is time for you. Listen, the path is clear. You are free. You have free will to do whatever it is that you want. It does not matter what other people try to tell you what you need to do. It's time for you to take that leap of faith and do what it is that you want to do. There may be something that you're like, 
I don't think I can do that, but I want to do it. You can do it. Or there's things that you're like, I really want to do this, but I got to do this and that and that and da, 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 da. Like whatever it is that you feel like you did not achieve, you can do it. It's never too late. It's never too late until you're gone. And even when you're gone, you're not really gone. You're just not here. It's a. It's all about what you do now in this present moment to better yourself. So don't stop worrying about what other people are saying about you, what other people's can, how other people judge you, or how other people feel you're less than or whatever. None of that. It is time for you to achieve all the things that others or yourself told you that you can't achieve. I'm here to tell you, do it. Okay do it right now. Then we have moon and Scorpio, okay? More moon and Scorpio. Negative attitudes and fairy arguments are possible at this time. Channel your energy into positive physical activities like decorating or gardening. Okay, so that is pretty much just saying you may be in a situation where it's just nonstop. It's just like a roller coaster. It's just like so many arguments is happening with so many different people. Or you may be not feeling positive energy at the moment. You're not liking the way you look. You're not liking the way you smell. You're not liking the way how other people are looking at you. Like stop with the negative energy. Like literally, stop with the negative energy, get your ass up, and do what makes you happy. So figure out what your hobbies are. Figure out what you want to, like something that helped me when I go to therapy, right? They always say, when you become an adult, you know, sometimes we forget what we like to do when we were kids, what you enjoy to do when you were a child. This is a message right now telling you to go back to the things that when you were a kid that you're like, okay, I want to do this. I want to do that. It's time for you to like get that energy back. Like when you're a kid and you're just excited about life and you're just trying new things out. So like decorating and gardening is an example. It's just saying like, you know, nothing's wrong with working hard. Yes, work hard. But someone once said to me, instead of working so hard, my dad told me to work smart. That's what someone said to me. And it's like, it's true. You work hard all you want, but why work hard when you can work smart? And it's not saying don't work hard. Work hard. Do what you got to do. But sometimes we work so hard that we miss out on the blessings that our universe, the universe has for us. So right now, it's so important to find those activities that just keep your blood flowing, you know, like say, hey, I, you want to maybe work out, you want to work on your body, you want to try a new hairstyle, you want to try new foods, you want to um, go to school for this, you want to go to school for that, like, do it because you can, okay, you can, all right, now we are going to the blessed be deck, all right, we are going to the blessed though. All these cards just came out. Okay. A blessing on a new venture. Yes, you may be traveling like really soon or you may be traveling right now, but it's just saying a new venture and you see how she has like the sword, like boom, like you're going for it. A blessing is getting ready to come to you and you are just about to be so excited and you're just about to be so happy. It's time for you to focus on you. Focus on what makes you happy. Focus on new beginnings, like new beginnings is coming you see the grass in it. Grass is always greener on the other side. So focus on a new venture because it's coming. Everything happens for a reason, you guys. A blessing on your family. Yes, a blessing on your family is like, you know, if you are going through a sad depression, emotions, whatever it is, focus on your family. Like your family, I know a lot of us, we have our own issues with our family in our own way, but family is amazing. Because family is a part of you. And I know a lot of people be like, oh, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be like that. But guess what? You are like that because guess why? You have that DNA. It doesn't mean you have to be exactly like that person. It's just saying that like your family is... It, we live in a world today where families are like separated and this is a blessing just for your family to come back together because guess what? Family is free. 
And family is always going to be there for you, regardless if you get along or if you don't. I send you guys blessing to heal that, you know, just have a positive mindset on your family because guess what? We don't get to choose our family. So just go with love and accept and have forgiveness, whatever it is, things that happened in the past, let it go and just move forward with your family because your family is always going to be there for you. Point blank period. Okay. A blessing to find your way. Yes, you may be in a time where you are feeling very lost. You may be in a time where you're just like, I don't know what to do. I've been there before. I've been there. And going through something like that, people will judge you because they look at you and they think they got everything put together. But really, you know, people don't really express what they go through. But it's just like, this is a blessing for you to find your way, your way, not what this person said, not what that person said, this person, that person. It is time for you to find your way for you, okay? A blessing on your wisdom. A blessing on your wisdom. Yes, okay, you guys, this is super important because when you, us in general, you know how people be like, I'm woke, I'm woke, I'm woke, and then they won't be woke. But then it'll be the people who won't even claim that they're woke, that are very woke, very intelligent, very smart, very wise, okay? Spiritual or not spiritual. You have to focus on your wisdom. This is a blessing on your wisdom to wake up, to stop doubting your intuition. People will think you are crazy because people will not understand you because you will know things without even seeing it like you will just know and then people be like oh you crazy it's like no you know why because i trust my intuition and that's what wisdom is is trusting your intuition intuition comes from the higher creator above intuition comes from your angels intuition comes from your ancestors and intuition comes within yourself so people can act like you don't know nothing and they can try to play stupid you know, you know what is up. So you may be in a situation where you're questioning things. It could be about a person or it could just be about yourself. Trust your wisdom. This is a blessing for you to trust your intuition. And it's okay. It's okay. If someone hurt you, it's not okay, but you're going to be okay. But don't try to doubt yourself and make try to prevent going crazy like when you know something deep down you know what's up period you know so this is a blessing on your wisdom to clear out the fogginess the second guessing like close your eyes and speak to yourself and speak to your creator speak to your angels speak to your ancestors for the answer and they will give it to you a blessing on the waters, okay? Waters is all about peace, harmony, um, sorrow, sadness, emotion. So you really might be in an emotional time right now. And a lot of people have a hard time expressing their emotions. I am here to tell you, it is okay to express your emotions. A lot of people be like, oh, you express your emotions too much. There is no, well, I can't say there's no such thing because uh, people express their self the way they do. But at the end of the day, nothing's wrong with expressing your emotions. It's just knowing who to express your emotions to. So a blessing to lift up that sorrowness, to flow to go with the flow to flow with yourself not really paying attention to the things that people have done to hurt you but to forgive those people that done the things to hurt you because it's not worth life is so amazing and every day it can be taken away like a blink in an eye you know what i mean i think i said that correctly but it can happen this is for you to really Understand that life is what you make it. Stop blaming other people for why you're the way you are and take accountability to be who it is that you're truly meant to be. Okay, now we're going on to the angel deck. Come on, angels, speak to me and my fallen collective. Okay, we have holy love. Yes, God is preparing you for that holy trinity love. God wants you. Holy love is really... I know a lot of times people think it's about 
finding love, but holy love is about loving you and that relationship with the world because God lives within people. A lot of people forget that. That's why they say, why do you think they say God sees everything? Guess why? Because we're created. We were created by the universe, you guys. The universe was created and holy love is that self-love that strong love. And once you love everything about you, guess what? Your partner, whoever is meant to be there for you will come. And if you're a person that's like, I don't need a relationship. I don't want a relationship. Have a relationship with yourself. Holy love is just that trinity. Nothing real. Once it comes to real love, nothing will be able to break that up. And you will have some, you will have dark energies you will have jealousy you will have people trying to block that but guess what if it's meant to be it will be and you just got to accept what is for what it is and you just have to love yourself no matter what so if you're going through a heartbreak or you may be in holy love you may be meeting someone that is like oh my gosh i'm just so happy you're making me feel like a really great way but i'm like I'm kind of scared because I just got out of something. If you're going through something like that, this is a reminder to just ease up and just love yourself. And I will say, definitely, I just heard it. Before you hop into something else, make sure you are fixed. Because the last thing you want to do is keep having repeating cycles because that sucks. It's not fun at all. It's very stressful. So before you do that, love yourself. Just love who you are. It's so important. It It is really important to love yourself. Look at that. Look, this is crazy. Romance and connection. So yeah, yes, you may be dealing with someone, right? And you're not sure, but you think about this person all the time you want to make things work with this person. And I feel like when romance and connection comes out, it's all about the person who is on your mind. Guess what? You're on theirs. And they're thinking about you. And they're just like, they. someone is wanting to reconnect with you. Someone is remembering how you treated them. Someone is thinking about you. And you're probably doing, you're probably most likely doing the same. And I always say like, you know, people are always telling us what we should do, what we shouldn't do. What do you want to do? There's no right or wrong. Well, I can't say that because there are right and wrong. But once it comes to love, like that real, holy, pure love, when you really love somebody, express it. Don't just say it. Express it and say it. You know what I mean? Express that shit and say it. All right. Take a step back. Yes. Taking a step back. Okay. Taking a step back means it's time for you to walk away from whatever is not serving you. So I'm getting that like for those that are dealing with somebody, right? Somebody, either you're taking a step back or someone's taking a step back from you. They really want to be with you. They really do. They want that, not just that play play. They want that real love. And the thing is, though, you guys may be in a space where things are happening and you're just not too sure. So take a step back is just saying like, take a break, take a breather, stop overthinking, say what you got to say, let it out, say it with your chest. <laughs> but when things don't go our way, you guys, literally everything, everything in this world happens for a reason. Everything. You are definitely on someone's mind. You look at this, honest and cute communication. So someone is not being honest with you at all. And they're probably not communicating with you. And it's probably because they're not being honest with you. They may be in a different situation. They may be interested in somebody else. And they're just definitely taking a step back because now they're confused. So what I just heard is they met somebody else. They met somebody else. And they're still, they're debating because now they have options, but um, there's something that they need to tell you. There's something that they want to communicate with you, but they're not sure 
when they're going to or if they're going to or how they're going to. But I'm telling you guys, literally, honesty is key and so is communication. And it's crazy because I'm the type of person, like, I will lie about the dumbest little things. And I never understood why I would lie about dumb things, but I realized it's because I was afraid. I don't know why I was afraid. I just feel like I always, as a child, I always used to get in trouble about anything. So I, not about anything, like obviously I would get in trouble because I wasn't doing right. But I would be so like, it's just hard. Sometimes it's hard for people to really communicate their true feelings because people care so much about what that person's going to think. But I'm telling you, like, being who I am today, like, I realize how when you lie to somebody, it can really affect them, like, heavily. So you want to be honest and you want to communicate, okay? But there is a message coming through. Someone is definitely thinking about you, and it's definitely the person who's on your mind. And there's something that they have to tell you. So communication is coming in, okay? Forgiveness and understanding. We're going to we're gonna end with this one, right? Com um forgiveness and understanding okay so someone is wanting your forgiveness they're wanting your forgiveness and they're wanting you to understand what it is that they're going through they want you to understand that no one's perfect and it's up to you you can forgive a person and not be with them you can forgive them and be with them it's just about how bad because i've what i'm feeling is that there's been some damage there's been some damage and something's gonna come to you where it's gonna really hurt you and that person is gonna want your forgiveness or you are you done something and you want that person to forgive you well, let me tell you something right here in this moment. Forgive for forgive others to forgive yourself. Like forgiveness is key for sure. No more holding on to your past or anything that's not serving you. It's time to like really let go and grow. But someone definitely wants your forgiveness. That's all I have for you guys. Stay blessed.